Welcome on board. Good to see you again. As a leader, you are responsible for setting the tone for learning engagements on your vessels and making sure the LET and LFI tools are used productively. It is your role as a leader to ensure a properly resourced and managed process. This will give your crew the best opportunity to learn from incidents. Let's now look at some of the things you can do to make your training sessions more effective. First up, planning and preparation. It cannot be emphasized enough how important these two Ps are if you are trying to make your training session a success. Make sure the room is set up and ready for the session. Make sure you allow enough time to familiarize yourself with all the materials and have read the facilitator guides. Make sure the room is big enough for people to move around comfortably. Make sure that water, paper, flip charts and pens are available. And finally, make sure the participants are spread out into small groups to facilitate the discussions. Next are four more Ps. Purpose. What are we doing and why? Okay, let's just take a moment to have a look at what we're trying to learn from this training session. This is about safety. This is the most important thing. Process. How will we do it? What I want us to do is engage as a group to talk to each other, to share experiences. I'm looking at this audience. There is a lot of experience in this room. There's stuff you can teach each other that you maybe never heard about before, and it could save lives. A couple of years back now, I was working on a container ship, and we had a near miss. Payoff. What are the benefits to you and others? Finish on the most important message, which is, listen, we don't have a spare of any of you to send to your family and your friends. You need to look after yourself and stay safe. Thank you for mentioning for the family. They're so important to me. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Passion. Always try and present with passion. If you are enthusiastic and supportive about the content, the participants will be too. And it's easy to look at that and think, well, that won't happen to me. Uh, my first ship out, we had a real incident and it stays with me. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it just to maybe give you the facts that these are real. This isn't just a video, this is real. The answers are in the room, so never talk too much. Be open and curious. So let's think about what the main hazards are to us. Whitney. Well, I think it's really dangerous when the snapback zones change. Be a good listener and ask open questions. Henrietta, first of all from you, what did you want to talk about? My commitment really to check and double check, because sometimes you forget, do that double check, because it's that chronic unease in you that niggles at it, and you better check it. That's fantastic, that's exactly the sort of thing we're looking at. Pangelis. My personal commitment would be to intervene whenever there is a weak signal, and whenever I see unsafe facts on board the ship. Conducting engagement sessions can be challenging, but by following a few simple rules and tips, these can be very rewarding. If the crew sees that learning engagements are important to you, it will be to them too. It's up to you as leader to create the platform in your organization for successful delivery of the learning from incidents engagements. Leadership commitment is a requirement for success.